We are tasked to find the circulation around this uh, four-sided polygon ABCD made of two arcs and two straight radial lines in a field of a, a vortex that is created as a solid body rotation. How do we know this is the solid body rotation? because velocity v theta is given as omega r. In other words, it's zero in the middle, in the center, and linearly increases to, towards the periphery. So let's proceed and find the circulation g. By definition, circulation is the line integral around the closed figure, in this case A, B, C, D, of the velocity field U times dS, where dS is the oriented path of, of the line. In other words, the orientation goes from A to B to C to D and back to A. So given that it really made, is made of four parts, we can express it as integral, line integral along AB. Uh, in this case it is U theta B D theta, where B is the radius of this inner circle. In other words, uh, the outer circle that is along AB. Then the next integral is from B to C. The UR, ER, plus integral of C to D of u theta a d theta plus integral of d a of u r d r. As you can see we only multiply the velocity component that is collinear tangential to the line segment in case in a b this is only the, the angular component of velocity. In BC, it is just the radial component, and so on. The second thing to notice is that uh, integral AB of this would be minus integral BA, so the order of letters that di uh, gives the direction of the movement. Now, since UR is zero everywhere, this is the vortex flow field and we have u theta equals r omega. We can reduce this expression to g equals integral from theta 1 to theta 2 of omega d squared d theta plus 0 plus integral of q2 to q1, uh, to theta 2 to theta 1, of omega a squared d theta plus 0. And when we work these out, we have omega b squared. You notice that b's are in this in a although they radii, they are constants here, due to the fact that the, our path line is along constant r. So we have omega uh, b square theta 2 minus theta 1 plus omega a square theta 1 minus theta 2. And given that theta 2 minus theta 1 is delta theta. We end up with the expression that 
the circulation is omega theta 2 minus theta 1 b square minus a square which is omega delta theta b square minus a square now what would the circulation be in the case that v theta that u theta i use u instead of v theta is not omega r but omega over r which would be the irritational vortex if you were to work that problem you would find out that the circulation in that case would be zero and you can do that as an exercise.